Welcome back to Let's Play some Newtopia 2. We're gonna go and Newtopia up this place. Now, the reason I'm going backwards is because I don't have any medicine. And I would like medicine. Medicine prevents me from dying. All of you can move out of the way. I go this way. And slink on by these little hands. Now, normally, I'd be all stingy and run back to the very beginning of the game and buy the medicine there for like 200 gold. But, for, this, for the sake of time... Oh, you can only burn the trees down? For the sake of time, I am coming here and buying it for a the ridiculously absorbent price of, I do believe, 500 gold. And of course, it's in the fourth one I check. Well, I can, but it's a really long way away, and I got people that I'm trying to keep entertained. So there, now I have medicine, and now we can go murder dudes. I'm okay with murdering dudes. That said, now we can be on our way. Our goal is Dirth's Labyrinth. The final place that we can go, the end of our journey. He's gonna shoot a thing at me, so I'm gonna go up. And find some pharaohs. Hey, pharaoh buddy. You're gonna breathe fire on me, and that's not going to be fun. Yay, stopping time. Murdering dudes. I should have healed while I was in town. Whoops. But we are heading for Dirth's Labyrinth, which means we have to go all the way back here. Now these guys are gonna hop and stop, and it's gonna be annoying. More wind! No! He made it through my wind! I really needed fire or something for these guys. But right here in this area, where you look down, there's the uh, fire guys. You look around going, well, gee, where am I supposed to go next? Because it's kind of a dead end. Well, what you're supposed to do is go up top here. And then murder a pharaoh, because really, he had it coming. I mean, the pharaohs, what with the making of the people working in the hard and this stuff, and actually that was more of a manual labor thing. It wasn't like they got slaves to do it all the time. Hello, kind lady. Ooh. We already have full- Ah, oh, why? We already have full life, though, so it's kind of not that important, but I'll see if I can find him anyway. He's probably living under this tree. Can you at least refill my life? Up yours, monk. That was kind of neat, though. They put an extra of each in. They put an extra bomb, and they put an extra life one in, just to make sure you could find them all easy enough. That's kind of interesting. I can't say how much I like the idea, but it's... Nice. Yes, we do. Don't hit me. That we have. Which means we can break open Dirth's lair. I need fire. 
Ah! I just wanted to turn around. My fire is stronger than yours. Hey, buddy. This way. Now that they're all dead... Oh no, only they're not. Now that they're all dead, we can push stones. And find an adorable young lady... ...who has healed me up for Dirth's grand fight. Funny thing here is, uh, right over there, to the right... That's the very first island in the game. We were but two blocks away from Dirt's Labyrinth. We could walk up here before going in the very first dungeon of the game and see this little part standing over there. Ah, but Dirt's Labyrinth. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. I'm supposed to do a thing here. I'm supposed to put the uh, medallions in, but... Uh, this little rock in the corner. What do I do? Ah, oh, what do I do? Ah, there we go. I have mounted it. Mount it. Dirth's Atra Labyrinth, the final labyrinth of the game, and we actually have lost the medallions from our inventory. Nice touch. The final dungeon. And this is not a simple dungeon. It is fairly straightforward, though. Oh, I was facing up. Seriously, it's like I push down and then he just decides, ah, I'm gonna go ahead and look. I'm gonna go ahead and look to the side. Oh, hey, a chest this early in. That's not the worst. Look, face up when I press... Oh, no, we can't get to it that easily. Also, it stabs you. I don't know if it's the controls of the game or my controller, but it gets that gets really annoying when I just kind of fumble around in the different directions. It's like, oh, I want to face up. See, I don't want to go on the stairs. Now, another thing we can do here is bomb the left wall. Should probably go with fire. It's generally safe. No, that way. Well, I faced... Uh, I don't know what it is. I press left, and he. if you, like, press... You press the direction and then hit a wall, you face a different direction or something. It's really annoying. Hmm. There appear to be blocks in odd positions. Oh, no, they're dudes! No, I'm gonna get stabbed by a block around here. It's just a question of which one. Which ones of these are stabby blocks, and which ones are not? I was... Okay, it hasn't bothered me up in the entire game up until now, but it appears to have been trying to rear its ugly head. Right now. Now in here, I do believe you push that one. And you can go up! Only you can't really do much up. It's like, again, I look up, and then I... I don't know why it's decided to do it now. Worse than any other time in the game.
You know what? I'm just gonna stab you. And that will solve all problems. Ah! Earth, why? Okay, if I can, like, hit you up here. I need you up here. No. Up. You jerk. Up. Here. This way. I fa- we- You see, though, we can't go to the right, and we can't do anything else here, so we actually have to backtrack. This was an entirely frugal dead end. Well, at least we don't have to kill him again. Which then takes us back to the start. I move faster than the speediest of heavens. Yes, stab right when they're... Stab right when they're throwing the sickle at me, because that is... this plan cannot possibly fail. Get stabbed by them repeatedly by walking into them. This is... this is perfect. I am a great player. Ah! Now, the room to the left is that room we went in before that we couldn't go out of. Which means... Which means we could go in there, but it wouldn't really accomplish anything. So we're not gonna. And you can't... you can't make me. Those are gonna stab me? Yep. Keep fire. You can tell the block enemies, they're actually slightly differently colored than the regular blocks. They're a little more... What's the word I'm looking for? They're a little more saturated. They're not quite as gray. Worm! Hey, buddy. And now I have to fire you! Can I get you? No, I need you this way. That works. You know, I want that, and I have no use for money. Now then, now I push a block. I push this block. And then this block. Mushroom! Well, that was easy. Oh, and they gave me a heart! Can I really not? Okay, there we go. Okay, now in here, we get to push a couple blocks. We get to push that one. We get to push that one. And I want to say we push that one. Hooray for me. Now we're working our way up here. Oh, man, I forgot to get an item. We're going to have to go back for it. Oh, we can also push that block, apparently. I don't need your block lowering. Oh, why? In this room, which I completely forgot, we can bomb to the right. And there's a chest! And I'm going to step on that, and I'm going to get stabbed. Yay! I stepped on the correct one! The Crystal Ball! You see, it's a 5x5 five five dungeon here, but, um, this dungeon is a pyramid. It's four stories tall. Oh, also in here you can bomb the right wall, but, uh, it doesn't really take you anywhere. I'll get to the other side of that wall later. Until then, we're just going to have to continue on stabbing things and exploring. Okay, now what was it in here? We push that block, we push that block, and we go up here and we push this block because I can, and then we push this block. And then we come to this row, man. 
How do I make them go away? How do I make those go away? Or is it like timed? Do they like just go away over time? Man, I can't reach him. I do like the flail. It's a really nice weapon. It's funny. And I could technically use it 216 more times. Cloud. Ooh, heart, heart, heart. Did I really need that heart? Did I really, really need that heart? See, I'm scared to go up because I know I'll get stabbed or something. There we go. Now for you! There are only two of us that remain. Could you hop back over here? Whoa, ah, spikes. Could you, like, hop over where I can hit you? Please? Pretty please? With sugar on top? Quit hopping around like you own the place! Okay, now in this room, we can go to the right, but what's in there? Nothing! You can do nothing in that room. It is an unimportant room. You can't even bomb any of the walls. So we're going up, and by up, I mean this way. And then suddenly worms. Can I pin you, and then murder you? I'm all right with that. Kill them all! Burn them! Okay, now in this room, you can bomb the left wall. And then you can go in here and totally get a thing! The enemy blocks are also taller than normal. And I'm, like, scared. Because I'm, I just get this feeling that all these blocks are going to stab me. I guess they're just not going to stab me. And we get the boom bombs. Nah. Please don't stab me with your sharp cylindrical blades. Circular blades, not so much cylindrical. I guess it's a very thin cylinder. Ah! I swear I didn't walk into that arrow. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Eat it! I can do this all day long, and as long as you guys are just gonna sit there and get hit, I am alright with that. He's just gonna derp around up there, though, so... Hey, buddy! Okay, now in this room, I don't think we can do much, so we're gonna continue on. And look at all the squirrels! Look at all the little flying squirrels. I like the flying squirrels. They're nice. I remember the enemies like this. Oh yeah, there were the enemies outside, but they just kind of jumped up and then they floated. Or then they flew for a while. And I am bad at this. There. You want to hop somewhere not next to the block that can stab me? Really? That'll do. Thanks. Fine, go that way. See if I care. Now, that one stabs me. This one does not. So we push that one, and then we work our way down. Oh, joyous day. I'm not stepping on that. I'm going this way. And then I'm going further. 
south more. More south! More south than we could possibly need. Now, I mentioned before how you could bomb right and go into a room, but it didn't go anywhere. That was, uh, leads you into this room. But, as you can see, there's a giant string of blocks in the way, so, uh... It's not exactly gonna do you much good. Oh, why?! Every other time I burned you, you just kind of sat there. Why did you get knocked towards me? Okay, now I have to figure out how to how to do this without getting... Maybe if I burn him from here, and then I make my way over that way, and burn the other guy from the top, or from below, or shut up. I'd like to stab him, but with these circular saws, I really don't have the mobility that I would feel comfortable with. So... We burn them, then. Alright, now we're free, and we can go, and we can leave, and we can go places, and oh no, it's a dead end, only it's not. Because here, we can go, not that way, that way, and then down, and then over, and then bypass, no, um, that way, there we go, yeah, and you can bomb the right wall. We've been most everywhere on this floor. Now, as I mentioned, this is actually a uh, fairly straightforward... This is a fairly straightforward area. And that chest will... Stab me! And then I bypass your trap. Because heck with your trap. It's a fairly straightforward area, though, because you're generally pretty limited as to where you can go. Now, let me guess. This is going to... No, it is going to lower them. Okay, it's not going to stab me. That would have been a prime place to stab me. Yay! So much edge juggling. Just don't jump to the left there. Because I was in a dangerous position. Because that guy could totally have, like, jumped down. Ah! And now we're free to go wherever we want to, only what we're supposed to do is bomb up. Heck with your traps. I go my own way. Know it? Now, the bottom one was, um, there wasn't, like, an overlying theme to the bottom floor. This is awesome! There wasn't really an overlying theme to the bottom floor. It was, uh, 5x5, five five, but they kind of ran you everywhere in a really weird labyrinthine way. The next couple floors actually have more of a theme to them. Don't stab you. You'll die so much faster if I just stab you. You think I trust going into the center of this room? It's probably dangerous. Okay, now I'm gonna have to go into the center of the room, because I gotta push block. And by overlying theme, I mean... I'm leaving the room and then re-entering, so I have time to run! But the center of the room here is another one of these giant four-room... giant room things. Which is kinda neat! Now, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go this way. And then I'm gonna dodge some worms, and we're gonna go up into a room up here, and then I'm going to figure out how to not get stabbed. Any more brown blocks don't stab you. It's like they're all... Oh, except for that one. 
they're all, like, puzzle-related anymore. Now we can push that, which is certainly an option, or we can bomb the left wall. Oh no, there are three chests in this room, whatever will I do? Well, you have to pick the right one, because if you don't, it will stab you. Like anything, that one will stab you. You don't want to go to that one. This one will not! And we get the key to the crypt! No, the far right one will stab you too, just so, uh, just so you know. And now I get to, I get to push that, and then I get to go up here and push that, and then I get to go down here, back into the worm room, and then I get to run by the worms and go left. And you can go in here, wah. Now you can go in here and that thing will fire arrows at you because it likes firing arrows at people. Now what triggered that there was? Now the question here is, which one of these do I push to lower those? The rear? And then we push a block, and then we get our sorry butts out of here. Oh, I see which one it is. You see, because it doesn't have uh, a shadow over the top of it. Like, all the blocks that are up against the wall have a shadow from the wall, except for that one. Learning. Oh, you know, we didn't actually go over here. Now, a lot of these rooms are kind of pointless. There's not really much in a lot of them. Like this room! There's nothing in that room but guys to murder. Wah! We can go to the right in here, and there is, uh, absolutely nothing to do in that room. Oh, wait, no, actually there is. We'll come back to that room. Out of the way. Come through, come through. There is uh, absolutely nothing to do in this room, aside from dudes to kill and block push. There is absolutely nothing to do in that room, aside from dodge fire and uh, do stuff. So we've been everywhere except for to the left and down over here. So we're going to go back and go down over here. Thought so. So let's not go that way. Ah! Okay, then, that was completely necessary. That was lucky! And yay, we can get out now, but I don't want to get out. I want to go... down! Now, once you're down here, it's, uh, which one of these is... Ah, that one's gonna stab me! And I can't push the other one. Okay, how about over here? Will you stab me? No, you won't. Neither will you. How about that? Yay! And we get slowly moved towards our destination, which is... more medicine. I would have been sad if that wasn't medicine. I'm, like, pretty sure it's medicine, but I'm not 100% positive it's medicine. And then I stab you, and then I block you by walking into you sideways. Because, heck yeah. Because for that brief instant, it was indeed in front of me. Wah! Okay, now let's get the crap out of here. Come on, rainbow drop, work with me. I'm gone, man! Okay, now we're going back over to the left, the one place we have not yet been. Seeing as this is a pyramid, the floors are all square, but they get pre, uh, they get smaller and smaller the higher up you go. Ah! Look, just like, is it like the water? Is the water the one that does it? Because I was standing in the place that wasn't water. This is dangerous! Ah. 
Oh, come on! I was standing there blocking that. Heck with all y'all. I didn't even need to do that. Oh, heavens. You have to bomb the bottom wall. Darn it. Heck with you. Heck with you and your floaty fireballs. I hate you. Okay, now it looks like I want to go... Wah, this way. And then run this way. And then go in the stairs that I have to be really precise over. Which takes us to the third floor. Now here, we want to... It's almost like I can't move quickly anymore. Oh, holy heavens! Okay, we're bombing this wall. And going to the right. Now in here, I'm just gonna fire these guys, because they're obviously dudes. And I will keep a constant string of fire rising. Yes. I'm waiting for the spiky floor. Oh, it was there of all places? Well, regardless, in here you need to... not bomb the wall, because that's totally a door. Ah! Can I even get back? I can't get back. Eat it! One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One dude left! One, two, three, four, five! Alright, and please don't stab me. Thank you. And then this takes us once again to a, um, giant four-room thing in the center. Why am I killing them? I don't need to kill them. Ow! Game! I'm starting to think Dirth wants to kill me. We need to go that way. And I'm not walking over these little moving platform things to get to you. I, I am gonna stab you so hard. Yes, because that totally doesn't time stop the enemies that I actually kind of wanted to time stop. I like how he just stood there and took it. Took it like a man. Oh, because he was time-stopped. Oh, I'm a genius. Okay, now, um, let's see here. There are a couple of rooms left to go in here. We want to go up. If for no other reason than because you can bomb this left wall here. And what is inside this left wall? But absolutely nothing, so we're not going to go that way. We go back down. That was almost... Oh man, I just walked over the center of them. I guess you have to be center enough on them to hit them, so if you're, like, spot on, then I'm being very cautious, because things are going to stab me. I am prepared, sir. But this is it, the final floor. Only four rooms. Worms! I like the worms. The worms are all right, actually. You know, I never- I don't think I ever used the ring for this Let's Play. Oh well. You know what it did. Same thing as, uh... Same thing as the previous game. Okay, there. Now I find the block that won't stab me. And open the door. And we have arrived. Walk in the 
corner. We have arrived. Within this room is Dirth himself. We've arrived at the last boss of the game. I don't want to fight him. He's mean. Darn it. All right, let's get this crap going. I do hope you've practiced your sword play in this game up until now, because the staves not only are useless against him, but he has taken them away, and will use them against you. Really what you want to do, he um, he comes in in two places, stab one you can, and run like mad. He's only using the fire staff here, but he does have access to all three. Ah! He's not in a good position to stab him. Okay, Dirth, Dirth, where are you? Ah! Yeah! Not in a good position to stab him. Well, I got hit, but I hit... If you miss, oh well, run. Because you need to be out of the stab's range. Quit hiding where I can't stab you. Uh, well, at least that's, I'm not in too much danger of getting hit by that one. Yeah. Quit being the one I'm not stabbing. Yeah. Fire is easily the easiest one to dodge. Just because you can sidestep it. With the lightning and wind, you just kind of have to be far enough away from wind, especially. Lightning, you can kind of sidestep. Kinda. I remember as a kid, this fight was especially hard on me because I relied so heavily on the stabs. This playthrough, I've at least practiced myself with the sword. And I like to think I'm not some, like, eight-year-old kid trying to play a game. I'm getting hurt. I've got medicine to fall back on, though. Wah! <laughs> I'm like at peak stress every second of this fight. I am pained. This everything is run up, stab. Yo, heavens! Now the cool, the friggin' cool thing about this fight is as his life goes down, the uh, the stabs weaken. So it's you actually know you're whittling him down because the stabs are getting weaker. All right, Dirth, you don't have much left. We got this.
Where's my Newtopia 3, Hudson? You promised! <laughs>